What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chinky. And it's J-Ho, the golden child. And you are tuned in to Who Couldn't Chill with the Golden Lord. God Bitch that hit my head is get excited. Fuck. Bitch that hit. What's up, Golden Lord? What's up, Chinky? You looking spiffy? Yeah, man. I feel good. You, I look, feel you good. look good. Thank you. You look blessed. Yeah. Okay. Go to Lord is blessed. <laughs> <laughs> tell her, tell her who can show people a little bit about yourself. What's up, guys? My name is J.O. the Golden Child. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Farragut Projects, to be exact. And um, I've just been doing music professionally for about nine years now. And um, it's been a long journey. Long, long journey. And um, my music, you know, it represents me, what I do. I'm, I'm very different. So I, I categorize my music as alternative hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hip hop base, like the foundation is hip hop. I know I studied the game with hip hop, and but I, I took it, I tweaked it because I listen to all types of music, you know what I'm saying? So I do that, and um, you know I just rock out everywhere I go. You know I rock out stages everywhere I go. I just do dope shit, you know. Yes. What I'm we we dope over here, dope gang 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 gang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the hookah though. No. What's up? Like, so, the hookah. Jay Hope, the golden child. Mm -hmm. How did you develop your name? How did you come up with your name? Well, Jay Ho is my real name. Um, my grandmother, God rest her soul, she named me Jay Ho after her brother. So I have a, I have a great uncle in Korea because I'm Korean. So um, his name is Jay Ho. So I was like, let me just use my, my real name, Jay Ho. And the golden child, I just feel like I'm the one. And I love gold. Yeah. <laughs> Who don't love gold? Um, so uh, what were you thinking about while developing your EP Gold Standards? Well, Gold Standards, it's like, it's, it's a level of quality, you know what I'm saying, that I'm trying to bring to the game. Um, it took like about four or five years to, to make it happen, so, because um, I just wasn't going to put out anything. Mm -hmm. So, I just, it's just, I, through the journey of me developing my sound and developing the EP, this is what I've been going through, you know what I'm saying, the ups, the downs, the experiences, and um, just more so about me. And that's why I ain't have no features on this. This is the first one. I wanted this to be about me. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, basically that was it, you know what I'm saying? It's not about right. Yeah. It's not about right. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, y'all, y'all know. It's the, 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 the golden one is the one. If you, if you don't know that, you know today. Okay. So, J-Ho, uh, what do you want people to get from your EP Gold Standards? I mean, I want people to feel confident at whatever it is that they're doing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, I feel confident every day. And my music, it, it promotes confidence. And how I project that confidence is like real edgy, real explosion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, real edgy. So, just be confident in what you do. You know, you'll get that from from the EP Gold Standards. You know, all the way from tracks from Waves to Excited, and then um, I take you back from like real confidence to like relax and chill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we like we hookah and hookah chilling and chill. right now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, that's basically it. You know, just you know, just just be be, be carefree. Bring good energy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I promote good energy. That's a fact. And this to songs, yo. You heard? <laughs> oh, good. So, Jay, who's your biggest influence, like, ever? Like, ever, ever? Like, ever, ever. Like, ever. Well, my favorite, my biggest influence is Prince. Mm -hmm. You know, um, even though he, he, we don't make the same type of music, like, I still embody that, like, mm -hmm. all the way, like, from the style of dress. Like, he was mad flamboyant with his purple one, mad flamboyant with my gold. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> He's the greatest that ever did it. Um, I studied him for years, like his stage show, his music, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that's what I do. Okay. That's what I. You you definitely give give me Prince, turn up on stage. Yeah, yeah. Definitely give me Prince turn up. Yeah, you gotta study. You gotta study the game. You know, I study a lot of different. You know, he's like one that sticks out. Like mm -hmm. that's why I said ever ever because that's ever. Prince. God rest his soul. But. Yeah. They didn't even get a chance to do no, no work with cool. <laughs> You definitely turn it up on stage, especially when you got the band going on, mm -hmm. you get the band on the popping. What? Yes. I told you, I act a fool yes. When, yes. This, when this man performed. Yes. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm the biggest man. Like, you know, something like emotional, but I love seeing my people prosper. Whatever. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Word. Yeah, Prince is the guy. Yes. Prince so, the guy. Jay, what made you 
want to make music? Like, what gave you that drive? Well, it all started at a tender age of five when uh, I was singing in choir. Uh, I was singing in my elementary, my, my, gra my kindergarten graduation, and everybody graduation song around that time was like, I Believe I Could Fly by R. Kelly. I believe yeah, I so, you know, I've always been in choir in my school, so I always did that. And um, fast forward at like nine, I hit puberty. So my voice cracked and everything. I didn't know how to adapt to that. Mm -hmm. So I just like, you know what? I'm like, I'm just, I'm a rap. Mm -hmm. You know, back then I was listening to like Joel Santana and Dipset and stuff. So they uh, influenced me like, like to really rap and stuff like that. So I started writing rhymes and then I was battling, like battle rapping, like high school students mm -hmm. around that time at 10 years old. And then like fast forward in life, um, I just know I didn't want it to be like a regular guy. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to nine to five or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, either I'm going to do something great or be, I wanted to be an entertainer, yeah. basically. So I know I wanted to entertain and I, I just been nice and rapping. So my uh, my friend, Rich, Richie V, he uh, taught me how to write songs. Because I used to be like a hot 16 rapper. That's it. No hope for me, no nothing. So, you know, he taught me like the structure of songwriting and stuff like that. And I just took it from there. And I've been doing it ever since. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this that hit my head is get excited, fuck. This that hit my chest and get excited, fuck.